in and out during the broadcast. But it's a great day here uh, in Argyle, Texas. He is uh, right here on 377 in Prince Town Road. So uh, I thank them for hosting this and being a sponsor of the Dinko yeah, School Night. But uh, I'll have Donnie Middleton on live here shortly to talk a little bit about uh, what he's doing here for the athletes and uh, for folks like myself, uh, just to stay in uh, good shape and uh, work on your fitness goals. So uh, and he's up on the screen right there. He's going to be joining me shortly. I've known Donnie uh, for probably 15 years, and he just opened up this new state-of-the-art gym. Let me flip it over. That's a picture of uh, just one area of the gym. And uh, they do group fitness. I've been coming in on Monday mornings, actually uh, each Monday, Monday through Thursday, typically a 5.15 a.m. class. And uh, the nice thing is I, I get out of here by 6.15 and uh, get on about my business and work. They have classes at 6.30 to 7.30. Check them out at precisionfitlabs.com uh, for the broadcast. But it's a great day here uh, in Argyle, Texas. He is uh, right here on 377 in Prince Town Road. So uh, I think highlights. That. it was such an exciting night at Neil Wilson Stadium in Flower Mound. I'm joined by the founder of Precision Fit Labs, Donnie Middleton. How you doing, Donnie? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we were just tuning in. I know, uh, you know, you played high school and college football as well. So I know I could tell when you were watching those highlights, you were getting a, a little uh, – jacked up yourself ready to maybe go back out on that field yeah that was a that was a pretty amazing game man both teams play hard um you know i've had an opportunity to train a couple of those athletes on the field in the flower mound and marcus area man and uh man it's just it's a it's a it's a proud moment for for the mound showdown to be displayed like that on a great show like this so yeah i'm sure those uh fans are really lit up about that game yeah i was talking uh, before you you came on that i've known you for uh 15 plus years i lose track of time has I it been that long i don't know yeah, it's been I mean. a while 10 at least yeah 10 at yeah. least but uh you've always i've been uh in your gyms before where you've had some of the high school athletes and working with them uh, whether they're volleyball players football uh, baseball basketball players you've worked with a lot of them and have had an impact on a lot of players that uh, have gone on to play college ball and I think a few to make it to the pro level. Is that right? Yeah, just a few. Yeah. Well, hey, it's so awesome to see uh, your culmination of fitness here in the in North Texas to open up this brand new state of the art uh, fit lab. And uh, we want to talk a little bit about it and how it can impact the student athletes as well as people like myself. I've yeah. been coming in at, at your 515 a.m. class and the thing I like about it, we've been talking about it in the mornings, is uh, it's never easy to get up when that alarm goes off. Uh, I've actually been setting it at 4.05. I don't always <laughs> jump right out of bed at 4.05, but uh, I get down here, and I know it's an hour, 5.15 to 6.15. Uh, you've got heart rate monitoring equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up on, uh, we'll try to actually uh, flip over. Let's do that now. Let's flip over. I know you got some uh, big screens. Maybe describe that area as, as one of the uh, – the areas uh, of the fit lab uh, right here to our right. So this is our uh, functional fitness area where you get to practice a lot of the stuff that uh, you would train with untraditional styles of training. So we obviously have barbell strength and kettlebell strength, but a lot of times uh, athlete comes, maybe they're post rehab and an ACL injury or maybe a lower back injury. And so they can't perform some of those exercises they, they normally would with a barbell. So we have uh, here you're looking at the um, the core bags and you're looking at the kettlebells and the medicine balls and a uh, real unique part right behind the right behind the first two or three punching bags there it's called a Bulgarian bag and uh, a wrestler named Ivan uh, in the European uh, continent was uh, was kind enough to kind of present this as a as a trophy to the people that won their their events and uh, it actually looks like a lamb tied up and so they would carry this home and take care of the lamb and yeah one thing you, you know at my age i'll just tell everybody i'm 52 years young and uh knock on this wood right here um i have not had really any you know major back injuries knee problems mm -hmm. part of that's due to the the 10 or plus years i've been working with you just to work on that core strength i know every morning we do uh correct me if i'm wrong because you're the expert but we do three groupings at f 15 minutes each starting with a warm-up to get the body warm, and then uh, w we wind down usually with a cool down. But every single grouping of exercises works on that core strength as well. Oh yeah. So the core fundamentals of movement in uh, in exercise, uh, we you know we start with the squat, we start with the pull, we start with the chest press, 
Uh, and every exercise that we do, every training session that we do is a little bit different as you as you come in and I see you a little bit more, I kind of tailor it to what your needs are, what your goals may be. Um, We're getting a little bit of a walking tour right now. Yeah. Uh, our, we got a camera guy here with us in uh, Precision Fit Lab. See, that's our turf room. Walking so tour right here. So, yeah, just talk, so we're talk able to, to do, um, in this room, this is a real special room. So I'm able to do speed and agility um, and power movement. So we have cones set up, speed ladder set up. Uh, sleds where they can push, pull, and drag. And so what this does is it really allows an athlete to train at their highest intensity but not uh, overstride so they get less injuries and more prepared for their games and their and their uh, preseason, postseason, and in-season training. Yeah, one morning, one of the toughest things I've done here at Precision Pit Labs is we were pushing that sled. Uh, what is that, about 20 or 40 well, those yards? Are, those are tires that's made out of yeah, uh, tires. molded, sled, molded rubber, and it's coated so you don't get dirty with the, the old dirty tires. But I do have a dirty tire in there, so big old heavy dirty tire. But we were pushing that as, a, as an option for a sled across that turf, and that is a, uh, that's a FIFA-grade turf. So that's a turf that they use in professional uh, sporting arenas, and, you know, uh, that's kind of a big highlight of our, our thing, that you can use your cleats in there so we can work on the speed and agility and the quickness and, and all that. Well, hey, back to that Mount Showdown. Uh, what an exciting night. And I had uh, – we did a live event. We've been doing more and more of these live events through uh, technology. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, we were at Chili's on Monday night and uh, had Coach Basil on, and I know he was excited. He's personal friends with Coach Kevin Atkinson. And uh, to hear him talk, had a couple players uh, on as well. And uh, just it's great for this community. We're right on the outskirts of Flower Mound. We're right here in Argyle, Flower Mound. Uh, South uh, Denton and Corinth area, conveniently located amongst all three. It only takes me about 12 minutes to get down here from the Corinth area, so it's it's right here on 377, convenient for all these schools that are on the south side of Denton County. Yeah, I mean we uh, we kind of located right in the heart of uh, the Denton Argyle uh, area, so I mean we can our athletes come from all over the place: Keller, South Lake, Argyle, Denton, um, and uh, Flower Mound and Marcus. Um, we even have a few few guys coming from Louisville on day to day and uh and uh, I actually just uh had a, a girl that I used to train at 11 she's a senior she's going to Troy State and uh she is definitely a a, a great individual and she is going uh, to play soccer in college and I've trained her since she was 10 and uh just seeing her develop and grow and uh then she's coming all the way out from Frisco so uh those are just some of the highlights I mean some of our athletes that come they're amazed by some of the product that we have. Uh, obviously, the heart rate-based training has been a, a big uh, pull in the fitness community, allowing people to see their intensities, um, see how many calories they burn, um, and, and just it's a real good way to, to show uh, the immediate feedback. You know, So that biofeedback that a client gets as, the, as they're moving through an exercise and to see if they're working or they're, they're, they're uh, needing to pick it up a little bit. Yeah, you had uh, like a soft opening today. You've only been open for a couple weeks, and uh, you got all the technology in here, state of the art. Uh, you know the monitors. What I like too is once you we get started on a group fitness, is uh, there's videos that uh, reinforce the usually it's the three exercises and a core exercise that I can just look up on. I think they're like 50 inch monitors. Yep. 55. And uh, see those and and reinforce and uh, helps me stay on task uh, as well as the other folks. And we just kind of it's a, it's become a routine now. Yeah, so uh, those monitors are basically my assistant trainer. So um, it's a virtual um, um, trainer that, that is set up to, if someone's in a uh, zone or a station that they're, that they're programmed to be in, they can look up at the monitor and we can help them guide them through. And they have a visual and they have my cueing through the whole system. So I'm on a loud mic and I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, sharing with them some, some things that, that work with this squat pattern, this lunge pattern, so they don't get injured. But they can also look up at the screen and see if they're in the right space, in the right form. Well, Donnie, uh, it's been a pleasure broadcasting live here pr from Precision Fit Labs in Argyle, Texas. A lot more to come uh, as we uh, roll into, uh, uh, I shouldn't say the off season because it's really never the off season uh, for folks like myself. But uh, I know baseball's coming up. I think you've got... Uh, some Denton Geyer kids are going to start working out in the uh, this room over here on some on some flexibility, some speed and agility uh, programs, and so spring sports are coming up. So now's the time to get in here 
and uh, work on uh, getting ready for January, February sports, track and field, things of that nature. Absolutely. So uh, we have our baseball teams coming in from Denton Geyer, and uh, we're going to be working on Coach Kyle Keese has a really strong strength and training program over at Denton Geyer. And, uh, man, he's really done a really good job with that program. All their athletes turn out to be really strong individuals. And uh, so I reached out to the baseball program to see if I can uh, uh, be of an assistance because we have other components here at Fit Labs that, that an athlete can use. So we have uh, compression therapy, muscle stem. Uh, we have a really unique assessment uh, called the Fit 3D Body Scan. And this body scan basically takes 300 images of the athlete and it allows me to, to, to see if that person's loading one side of the body too heavy, front, back, see their posture, get their weight, get their body fat. And, you know, that, that also kind of raises some, uh, some conversation over nutrition and hydration and how important those things are. So I'm excited to, to kind of uh, help the uh, Denton Geyer baseball team uh, get into a better shape with their quickness and their speed and agility. Uh, like I said, Coach Kyle Keyes has got that strength conditioning program down packed. And so we're just going to facilitate and add a little bit more strength and conditioning with the speed and agility in our turf. I'm going to segue into uh, the final segment and talk a little bit about the Argyle game last night. Before you break away, um, I know we've got your website up here. How else can uh, potential clients find more information about Precision Fit Labs and any kind of special promotions you have ongoing uh, now through January 1st? Because I know a lot of folks out there, they want to wait. Hey, it's Halloween, candy, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas. Hey, I've, I've been caught in that rut before. You know that. Oh, yeah. But uh, start now. I'm starting now and not waiting till January the 3rd, January the 2nd to start my new plan, right? So how can folks get in touch with you now and get started? I'd love to have a few of you join me at 515. Hey, if I can do yeah, it. Yeah, that would be fun. I know you can do it. And I'm looking for at least five more. Some of the guys out there and girls uh, as well, we have uh, – girls and guys in the class mm -hmm. There's good uh, mix. come on down so how can they find out more about that they can reach me at the, my instagram handles at precision fit labs uh, instagram and then you can reach me at donnie middle uh, i'm sorry donnie at precision fit labs.com that's my email um, my phone number is 469-348-4552 and uh, i'm pretty much working every day all day and uh, you know i am Really here just to be a service of you guys and, and provide a great workout experience with our, our custom workouts through the whole month. We change it up almost every day. So love to see you out there. Love to see you get growing and, and getting in shape. Well, Donnie, thanks so much for joining me on this yes, live sir. Thank Saturday you so much afternoon for having edition. Me. I think this is the first time we've ever done a Saturday afternoon edition of the Dinko Gridiron Show. And uh, it's been a lot.